We have the privilege and honor to welcome today Mart Lahr, uh, who was the Prime Minister of Estonia and who is now an MP in Estonia. Um, Dr. Lahr, thank you for this interview. Uh, could you let us know about the reforms that you undertook back in 1992 in Estonia? No, Estonia then was in a very bad situation. We had uh, in '92, uh, when the new government came to the power, more than 1,000% inflation. There was strong drop in the economy. There was uh, high prognosis on unemployment. Um, there was most of the food staff were on the cart and ration. So it was it was real catastrophe. And uh, when we came to the power, as we were young and decisive, so the, we didn't wait very much uh, and started to act immediately using this. So window of opportunity to either launch the radical and decisive reforms because when you are having such a problem uh, you must really uh, act very decisively. So we balanced first the budget uh, and stabilized the monetary situation. Of course it means a lot of cuts in the government so we decreased the size of government significantly and at the same time introduced all these necessary institutions which are needed granting the rule of law, the independent court system, and fighting down the corruption. So to do this, first of all, we left the former communist out from the offices. And uh, then we started to introduce the market-oriented reforms, opening our economy, abolishing all custom tariffs, introducing the first flat tax in Europe, which has been now happily followed by, by many countries. And uh, through this such of supporting the competition and free market everywhere, we have really turned Estonia to the small kind of economical miracle, getting the fastest growth and highest uh, growth in the living standards among not only the former communist states, but uh, nearly in all the world. What is your opinion on the current financial crisis? I think... Um, the problem in the current financial crisis is that the governments or politicians who are dealing with this, um, they are pressed uh, to do something. So they are acting from the, not from the, uh, because they think that's the right thing to do, but they are acting from the fear, uh, losing their positions, which means the fear doesn't create very sound decisions. And I really afraid that this decision, this intervention, to the economy uh, is too much and when somebody hoped that this intervention will save something then we will now see it's not happening. In Estonia we were a little bit in the same situation of course in the small scale and the scale of my country. So in 92 when we came we had three big commercial no, commercial banks, no, the biggest one actually which controlled most of the banking. They were all in the similar trouble after the monetary reforms, collapse in Russia and so on. And they came to the government to ask the uh, support, and ask the money that we must save them. And they really said to them that, dear people, this is your business. The government can only help themselves, these people who are interested to help themselves. And we send a very strong message out and we let them do the bankrupt. Uh, most of the Western advisors were stupid, very mildly, they were absolutely shocked. They thought that the people would run, who had lost their money in the banks will run to the streets and they will create enormous problems. But the people actually understood very well that the government gives this money, it saves not the banks and not the deposit, it saves the owners. And why these owners must be saved when they have done such a terrible and bad mistakes. And so we only got the better banking and less state intervention because to be very frank, looking on this government crisis, this is not in the same way the fault of banks but in the same field of thought of governments who encourage the banks to give such of cheap and and simple loans creating through this 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 crisis what we see and the danger in such of attitude to get the government involved to all this solution is that we are not getting only the collapse in the in the wall street but we get the collapse in the whole world economy because in 1929 this was uh, started, of course, in a similar way with the collapse in the Wall Street, but this was not the cause of the big depression. This cause was those bad and stupid decisions which was done afterwards, closing the markets, to abolish the free trade, 
to raise the taxes and so on, and from the result of this, the countries went to the real economical crisis. So our most important target is to understand what really happened, to understand that the market economy works, and to not to get uh, to the same mistakes which were done in the in the world Mr. Law, thank you for this uh, unorthodox and very interesting <laughs> positions. Thank you very much. Thank you. For your time.